is Shannon from Skip to My Life, where we talk about small space organization and DIY decor. On today's video, I am going to show you some super simple and quick Halloween decor you can make today. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. If you live in a small space like we do, you're probably short on storage for holiday decor. So I am gonna show you some projects that are going to store really compactly. And the first is this plate. These plates cost 50 cents at your local Target store, and I have made the Skeleton Bone Appetite printable for you. You will find that free if you click on the link in the description section. I simply cut out around that graphic and sprayed some spray adhesive on the back. Now you're gonna wanna spray a lot of spray adhesive because as you can see from this guy, they will peel up if you don't put a lot on. Once you've done that, it's just a matter of sealing it with clear acrylic seal spray paint. And you don't even have to do this step. If you'd like to just change out your graphic, you can leave it without the seal. And there you go, a super easy Halloween decor project that is so easy to store. You'll notice that most of these DIY decor projects are black and white themed. And I decided to just mainly decorate my china hutch for Halloween. So in back of some of those plates and glasses, I am going to just thumbtack up this banner that I found at Walmart. Now I think this was for sure under $5. If you can't find one like this, or if you want to use different colors, you could easily make a banner just like this one with cardstock. Okay, I know what you're all saying. Shannon, why didn't you just move those glasses and plates? And I really should have, and I watched this back and thought, um, that was a little bit lazy of me, but I was in such a hurry to get this going for you all, and I think it turned out fantastic. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. Here's another fun DIY Halloween decor for small spaces. It's very, very easy to store. And this is one that my daughter actually challenged me to use. We're going to make a bead garland using some plastic eyeballs from Dollar Tree and we'll start by burning a hole into each side of the eyeball. Now please be really careful with this. I probably should have worn gloves. If that heat gun slips, it's obviously gonna really burn you. So please, my friends, be extra careful. Next, I took some wood beads that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now I know that Dollar Tree has been selling these, but I could not find them at my Dollar Tree, so I did get these at Hobby Lobby. We're just going to put them on a shish kebab stick and we're gonna put them kind of on a steak, like we're roasting them, and we're gonna paint them black. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big welcome. I'm so glad you came by. Here's your new word for the day. It's aglet, A-G-L-E-T. That is the hard end on a shoestring. And I am using a Dollar Tree black shoestring to use to get these beads on the line. But you could also use from the hair weaving kit at Dollar Tree, one of those long needles. So I was able to string the wooden beads using the aglet, but when it came time to string the eyeball, that gap in the middle was just too long. So I could have used one of those large needles from Dollar Tree, but I didn't have one at the time I filmed this, so I kind of made my own needle out of some wire. Now, if you've been watching Skip to My Life for a while, you know that I always try to help you guys learn from my mistakes. So if I had to do this again, I would use a piece of yarn that would easily thread into that needle, and I could have done this process so much quicker. But as it was, I had to keep going back and forth. Now you could certainly use this DIY Halloween decor as is, but I wanted to take it up just a little bit on the cuteness factor. So I had some of this black and white striped ribbon left over, and I started by tying that at intervals, and then you'll see I'm gonna go back with some white rick rack that was also in my stash, and then some black seam binding tape that was also in my stash. Now, please use whatever you have on hand, or maybe you're not even using these colors, or you wanna use a different color scheme, but I thought the end result was so adorable. Make sure you keep watching because my next DIY is going to be another challenge from my daughter, and I think I knocked this one out of the park. I haven't asked her yet, but we'll see what she thinks. 
For our next step, we will give this little guy a haircut and cut all of those ribbons approximately the same size. But don't stop watching because the next step will really take the cuteness factor up a notch. We're going to add a tassel to each end of this eyeball garland for your DIY Halloween decor. And I'm gonna show you how to make this tassel and you can really use this in a lot of different craft projects. Simply take a ribbon and fold it in half and I would be really generous with the ends here. Then we're going to cut a little fringe right down the middle, as many fringes as you feel like you want. And then I'll insert some of those scraps of ribbon in the middle. Next, we'll wrap the end of the shoestring through the loop of that ribbon and tie it really tightly to secure it. And then finally, we will tie a ribbon around that top portion of our new little tassel. And there you have it. All that's left is to trim the ends to the length that you like. If you're coming back to skip to my life, thanks so much. I just love reading all your comments. And the question of the day is, are you going spooky or cute for your Halloween decor this year? I think I'm gonna be sending this one to my daughter in a care package. I know that she's having at least one Halloween party. She loves Halloween. Now this Dollar Tree Scarecrow is cute as is, but it just really didn't fit in with my decor. So what we're gonna do first is remove all the buffalo check items on this guy, and then we are going to paint him black. Now, you may be wondering, well, Shannon, why are you doing this outside? Well, I originally thought that I would spray paint him, but it is tough to get spray paint to adhere to the fabric on this guy because it's kind of a plasticky outdoor type of fabric. So I did go ahead and use some black chalk paint and it did take a generous amount, but it was kind of therapeutic just having a mindless project like this. Now this next step is optional, but I went ahead and cut off all of those little corn husk raffia ends that were on the scarecrow. And we're gonna add something a little different that goes better with our black and white theme. Now we're gonna add that buffalo check hat back on, but instead of the raffia, we're gonna put some white lace coming out the top and the sides for hair. Dollar Tree sells this burlap ribbon with the lace down the middle, and I had used another project where I removed the lace, so that's where this lace comes from if you're looking for this exact type of lace, but you can use anything that you have in your stash. If watching this video is helping you get in the Halloween spirit, please let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. So now you can see we're poking that lace fringe up through the top of the hat. There is a little hole where the raffia used to be. And now we're gluing that hat onto our new black and white scarecrow. try to keep my Halloween decor pretty kid friendly. For me, this is a Halloween is a holiday for kids, but I know so many adults love it. So comment below and let me know if you will be celebrating Halloween and what you're gonna be doing. Make sure you watch all the way to the end for the big reveal of all these different DIY decor items in my China Hutch. Now I'm adding three little daisies and sunflowers to the top of this guy's hat. And of course this is optional as well. It would be fun to see all different kinds of decor on this hat, like some rhinestone gems or whatever fits your aesthetic. And now I'll be adding the rest of that lace where the raffia hair went as well as to the hands and feet. We're just replacing that raffia with the white lace. This was a second Halloween DIY decor challenge from my daughter. We do this sometimes where she'll, we, she lives in another city, but she'll go to a Dollar Tree and she'll take pictures of things and those are my challenge. So it might be a fun game for you to try with a kid or grandkid. If you have adult children like we do in other cities, it's kind of a fun way to bridge that gap. I'm taking the leftover buffalo check items from this 
Scarecrow's original outfit and making ties around the arms and the ankles. And then we're going to make a finishing touch for the center. I decided to cut out the shape of a heart and that's gonna be glued on the very center of this black and white DIY scarecrow. Now you could do whatever you like. You could put a gemstone here, you could put a monogram, you could put a little fall sign. There's so many ideas. And for the very finishing touch, I'm just taking some buttons from my stash, gluing one button to each wrist and ankle and one to the center of our buffalo check heart. If you've been watching for a while, you know our story. My husband and I recently downsized from a six bedroom McMansion to a tiny bedroom love cottage once our kids were grown and flown. So I love to show you ways that you can decorate your small space on a small budget and make it look fantastic. So here's the big reveal. My China Hutch is tricked out for Halloween and that will probably be about the extent of my Halloween decor this year. I just love the way that this centerpiece of my home turned out from top to bottom. Thanks so much for coming along on today's adventure. And don't forget, comment below and let me know your very favorite idea from today's episode. Until we see each other next time, don't forget, today is not the end of your story. Keep going.